back to Racing Dudes Trivia Tuesday. I am your humble host, Magic. Each Tuesday before a Kentucky Derby prep race, esteemed panelists from the world of horse racing compete for bragging rights, representing the Racing Dudes each and every week is Aaron Halterman, who picks winners from every race at every track every single day over at RacingDudes.com. Competing against Aaron is Amber Reeves, but you might know her better as Shoddy. She's the deacon of the Discord, the first of the fangirls, the Racing Dudes intern, and one half of the reigning Triple Crown Fantasy League champion, Shoddy. Welcome to the show. How are you feeling about your chances? I am nervous because Aaron just seems to be very well versed in the knowledge of horse racing trivia. Uh, so, but you know what? Scared money don't make money. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like to hear. You hear that, Vinny? Scared money don't make money. And if you're new, here's how the game works. I'm going to ask 10 multiple choice questions about an upcoming Kentucky Derby prep race. This week, it's the Risen Star Stakes at Fairgrounds. These contestants will have 10 seconds before giving their answers. The 11th and final question is a bonus betting round. In the end, the contestant with the most points wins. Every contestant who beats Aaron will return for the championship game, which will focus on the Kentucky Derby itself and award the final winner with a big old prize. So far, we've seen two people beat the boss. Will Shoddy become number three? We'll find out soon. For everyone at home who's playing along during the game, keep track of your own score. Let us know at the end of the show how you did in the comments section. Without further ado, let's giddy up. Question one. Since 2013, how many Risen Star runners have crossed the wire first in a Triple Crown race? Is it A1, B2, C3, or D4? Again, those answers, is it A1, B2, C3, or D4? All right, answers up on the screen, please. Aaron says A, Shadi says A, you're both correct. You understood where I was going with this one. Only one <laughs> Risen Star runner has crossed the wire first in a Triple Crown race. Mandaloon didn't cross the wire first, but is now recognized as the winner of the 2021 Kentucky Derby. But he didn't count. You were too smart for me. Score is going to be one to one heading into question two. Since 2013, how many times has trainer Brad Cox won the Risen Star? Is it A, one, B, two, C, three, or D, four? Those answers one more time. Is it A, one, B, two, C, three, or D, four? Answers on the screen. Aaron and Shadi both say C. You guys were ready for this one. That is correct. Three times Brad Cox has won the Risen Star, including most recently last year in 2023. Score is now two to two, heading into question three. Since 2013, how many times has jockey Florent Giroux won the Risen Star? Is it A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, or D, 4? Those answers one more time. Is it A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, or D, 4? All right, answers on the screen, please. Shadi says C, Aaron says C, you're both correct. Flo didn't ride three times, uh, three winners for Brad Cox, but he has won it three different times. Thought I might be able to trip you on that one. You guys are too smart, too prepared for this one. <laughs> Scores are still three to three, tied up, heading into question four. Since 2013, trainer Todd Pletcher has won the Risen Star once. Who was the winning jockey? Was it A, Javier Castellano, B, Mike Smith, C, Joel Rosario, or D, Miguel Mena? Those answers one more time. Was it A, Javier Castellano, B, Mike Smith, C, Joel Rosario, or D, Miguel Mena? All right, answers on the screen, please. Shadi says D, Aaron says B. Aaron, you took the lead here with this one, Mike Smith. <laughs> There's a trend here if you've watched this show several times. I like to bring up Mike Smith in one of these questions because yep. he's kind of all over the place. And I always pick you him wrong expect. every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, with that question, now Aaron takes the lead. Four points. Shoddy just behind with three still anyone's game. Heading into question five. Which horse holds the current stakes record for the fastest winning time at the current one and one eighth mile distance? Was it A, War of Will, B, Mandaloon, C, Mr. Monomoy, or D, Epicenter? Those horses one more time. Is it A, War of Will, B, Mandaloon, C, Mr. Monomoy, or D, Epicenter? All right, let's see those answers on the screen. 
Aaron says D. Shadi says C. Aaron, you got it right again. Epicenter holds the current stakes oh, record for oh, the fastest oh. winning time. <laughs> he broke the stakes record by 1.36 seconds. That's how dominating he was, or how fast he was, I should say, yep. in that race. Oh, no. Scores now Aaron with five, Shadi with three. Maybe you can get one back here on him, Shadi. Question six. <laughs> I threw that one. I meant to do episode, but it's okay. It's, it's, <laughs> it's the wrong one. Sorry. Continue. Since, two, since 2013, which horse holds the largest margin of victory in the Risen Star? Is it A, War of Will, B, Mandaloon, C, Mr. Monomoy, or D, Epicenter? Those horses, one more time. Was it A, War of Will, B, Mandaloon, C, Mr. Monomoy, or D, Epicenter, largest margin of victory in the Risen Star. Let's see those answers, please. Aaron says A, Shadi says D. Shadi got one back. <laughs> Epicenter, back to back in the questions here. Uh, Aaron, you did, what did you say? Did you say War of Will? Yeah. He was two and a quarter lengths. Epicenter was two and three quarter lengths. So you had the right idea, but my boy Epicenter, just too good. <laughs> Damn it. This is gonna haunt, this is gonna haunt me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's five to four. You can get one back on him again here and see if you can tie it up, Shadi. In question seven, since 2013 and including partnerships, who is the only owner to win multiple editions of the Risen Star? Is it A, Albaugh Family Stables, B, Winchell Thoroughbreds, C, William Farish, or D, Calumet Farm? Those answers one more time. A, Albaugh Family Stables, B, Winchell Thoroughbreds, C, William Farish, or D, Calumet Farm. All right, let's see those answers on the screen. Aaron says B, Shai says B. You got it right. Winchell Thorbreds, 2016 with Gunrunner, 2022 with Epicenter. It's almost like he's my favorite horse. Oh, man, imagine that. <laughs> Points for each of you. It's Aaron with six, Shadi with five. We're moving into question eight. Still a tight race here. Since 2013, two jockeys have won multiple editions of the Risen Star. Florent Giroux is one. Who is the other? Is A, Miguel Mena. B, Luis Saez. C, Joel Rosario. Or D, Brian Hernandez Jr. Those jockeys one more time. Is it A, Miguel Mena? B, Luis Saez. C, Joel Rosario, or D, Brian Hernandez Jr. All right, let's see those answers on the screen, please. Aaron and Shadi oh. both say, hey, you got it. Miguel Mena, the only other two-time winner of the Risen Star since 2013, 2015, and 2018. Lucky there. Very lucky. <laughs> Unfortunately for me. I, I did not know the answer. I was just trying to remember the other ones. I was like, I don't think they've won it twice. So anyway. All right, Aaron with seven, Shadi with six. We move into question nine. How many runners from the 2023 Risen Star raced in that year's Kentucky Derby? Was it A, one, B, two, C, three, or D, four? Again, how many runners from the 2023 Risen Star raced in that year's Kentucky Derby? Is it A, one, B, two, C, three, or D, four? All right, answers on the screen, please. Aaron and Shadi both said, see, you're correct. Oh, the trifecta man. was Angel of Empire, Sun Thunder. I'm trying to wear you fills. down right now. <laughs> Two of those three horses, by Ooh. the way, hit the Derby trifecta. A very, yeah. very key race, the Risen Star, last year. And shaping up like it might be another key race in this year's edition as well. Yeah. So I'd say we'll, so. See the, we'll see what happens in a few days from now. But the score is now Aaron with eight, Shadi with seven. The final question before the betting round. And oh boy, this is going to be a good one. I can already tell. Oh question 10. The Risen Star was split into two divisions in 2020. Who was the only jockey to finish in the top three in both of those races? God. Was it oh, A, man. Junior Alvarado, <laughs> B, oh, Javier Castellano, C, Florent Giroux, or D, Julien Leperu? Risen Star split into two visions in 2020. Who was the only jockey to finish in the top three both races? Was it A, Junior Alvarado, B, Javier Castellano, C, Florent Giroux, or no. D, Julien Leperu? I'm scared. What a tough one. All right. This is a tough one. <laughs> Answers on the screen, please. 
Aaron says C, Shadi says C. You both got it incorrect. It's actually D. Julian Leperu, oh, second on Enforceable, second on Major Fed. Get out of here with that one. That's a really. I, I think Julian Leperu's wife wouldn't even got that one right. Magic. Yeah, <laughs> like what? that was tough. That was tough. I didn't. I didn't study for that one. <laughs> No, I listen. I, I had to throw you one curveball, and I didn't want to bring up homebreds again, so <laughs> I figured I'd go with that one instead. <laughs> you brought jockeys instead. Great. All right, the final score is heading into the final betting round. It's Aaron with eight, Shoddy with seven for the final betting round. Think of it like Final Jeopardy. Bet as many points as you want up to the amount that you've earned, then you're going to text that to me privately. After I ask the question, you will each have 10 seconds before answering. Aaron, you currently have eight points. Shoddy, you currently have seven points. Please text the amount of points you wish to wager now. All right, the wagers are in. Here is the final question. Since 2013, which Risen Star winner had the highest final odds? Is it A, Intense Holiday, B, Bravazo, C, I've Struck a Nerve, or D, International Star? Those answers one more time. Was it A, Intense Holiday, B, Bravazo, C, I've Struck a Nerve, or D, International Star? Now, before you answer, Aaron, you have eight points. You wagered all eight. Shoddy had seven points. You wagered all seven. Everybody push their chips into the middle for the final time. Answers on the screen, please. You both said C. I've struck a nerve. And your winner, Aaron Halterman. <laughs> that is correct. I've struck a nerve 135 to 1. Little bit of an upset. Now, Bravazo, I was trying to trick you, trip you up with because he was 21 to 1. A lot of people forget about that. But yep. no, I've struck a nerve's final odds 135 to 1. You both got it right. The highest scoring game we've ever had. Aaron, you end with 16. Shadi, you were right there with 14. You were there till the bitter end. Congratulations on a job well done. We've got to have you back because you were very, very prepared for the Risen Star trivia. Uh, well, I'm ready for the Rebels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we have her back next week for the two Rebels. Weeks. We'll be back in, Shadi will be back in two weeks because it will be Rebel Stakes time. Uh, if you know how Aaron does with Oakland Park trivia, if you watch this before, She's taken on a challenge, but I feel like she's going to be ready for it. Aaron, I have a feeling you knew I've struck a nerve maybe from a recent Dudes Who Bet Daily segment, if nothing else, because I saw I get put in the chat right as we were going off air, and I thought, oh, darn, I hope nobody well, noticed that. Well, to, to be fair, I did know the answer. But yes, our, our buddy Mark <laughs> wrote that in the chat when you were hyping this show. <laughs> so it was pretty funny that uh, he said it. But yeah. I did know the answer, and I, I I was standing at Oakland Park when I struck a nerve one. We were watching on TV. You mentioned Bravazo. I was standing at Oakland Park watching it on the TV when Bravazo won as well. So I've seen many, many Risen Stars from Oakland Park. That's not where the Risen Stars held, but no. that is where Aaron is always found when the Risen Stars are <laughs> yeah, running. for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shadi, thank you for coming on. Uh, thank you for, for your time on this one. We will have you back for the Rebel Stakes for that. But before we go, let the folks know what it is you're doing with the Racing Dudes team, aside from being just a shining beacon in the Discord, in the live chats for all of the shows. What kind of content are you helping us produce? Uh, if you check out our TikTok, uh, which has now hit 500 followers yay uh, just posting some short form versions of what the dudes are posting such as the top five derby contenders from aaron's list as well as just in general funny things that happen in the live shows which is very very common so <laughs> well make sure you check that out make sure you follow shoddy on twitter or x she is at shot done s-h-o-t-d-o-n-e for everyone at the Racing Dudes team, Aaron Haltman, Jared Welch, Shoddy, Mike Samich, Dr. Miranda, Vinny Blonde, and myself, Magic. Thank you so much for joining us. Join us next week for another edition of Trivia Tuesday. Until then, good luck, everybody.